back to the leaf blower evolution guide in this guide we'll be talking about how to smoothly transition into sacred nebula in the previous episode we went over how to beat pyramid floor 100 so we're going to be continuing on through there once you beat pyramid floor 100 there's going to be a new area that is going to be available to you and that is going to be called the black leaf hole we're going to teleport here and we're going to notice that there is a black hole in the middle of this leaf. We want to click on this leaf black hole here. And for you, it's going to prompt you to sacrifice 250 shards. If you do not have 250 shards, there are some ways to easily get these shards by sacrificing some shards that we have on our leaves. I recommend you keep your Witch Essence Multiplier uh, set and your damage set as you're going to need that damage set when we enter the sacred nebula so if you want to sacrifice your tgm set or your trade global multiplier that is okay to uh, sacrifice those shards on there by re-rolling those properties and getting those shards back as trading becomes a little bit less necessary for sacred nebula once you have those 250 shards we want to unlock this area sacrifice those shards and you want to click into this button here called step into the black leaf hole once we do this a cool animation will play here with a bunch of shards going everywhere and it will teleport you to the exalted bridge however we don't want to be here as you will most likely not to be able to kill the centaur as it requires 2.2 e41 damage slap damage to beat if you cannot beat the centaur straight away we want to head over to the Sacred Nebula again and head to the Biotite Forest. The Biotite Forest here will start spawning Biotite leaves, which we can use to get some upgrades and unlock the next leaf in this area that will help increase your damage. These leaves here do not get affected by any buffs or any combos or anything like that, so it is going to be very difficult to get a large amount of, of leaves straight away. However, there is one source of multiplier that we can use to increase the amount of biotite leaves or any leaf beyond Sacred Nebula. This bonus is going to come from scrolls. This leaf scroll here will triple the amount of leaves that you get. So besides starting from one leaf, you're going to start from three. Once we, do, once we start farming like this, I highly recommend you start piling straight away to maximize your offline rewards for biotite leaves the biotite shop includes some tower upgrades and max tool upgrades and some other bits and pieces so let's go over through that now so it starts off with biotite leaf marketing like a lot of other different leaves we have biotite fertilizer which increases the spawn chance of biotite leaves material storage by 50 per level Unlock tower floors, unlocks 50 more pyramid, uh, sorry, tower floors per level, which also gains more BLC the higher your tower floor peak is as well. More tower floors percent, unlocks 1% more tower uh, leaf tower floors per level. Now we have four different upgrades here that do the same thing, but for different tools and equipments. So all these things here, max tool level, max equipment level, max pet level, and max unique level, is meaning that beyond uh, level 100, each upgrade that you get here will increase that level cap by one. So if you have 32 levels like I've got in here, the, the new level cap for uh, your equipment, your unique leaves, is going to be 132. The craft hammer, out of two levels, which increases the chance of crafting rarer leaves, Card Detector, which increases card drop chance by 0.1% per level, and Boss Card Detector, which increases the drop chance of boss cards by 0.2%. Once we've piled and got enough uh, Biotite Leaves to unlock Malachite Leaves, we can go over here and they will spawn in the same area as well. Still highly recommend that you uh, pile these leaves as well to get the maximum amount of Malachite Leaves that you can get. The Malachite shop is a little bit more damage focused and shard focused, which is great to increase the damage till we can beat that centaur. We have the two normal upgrades from leaf marketing and fertilizer, and then we get into some new upgrades here. We have the unlock Shadowfy artifacts. 
This Shadify means that we can convert 1,000 artifacts into shards, and we can Shadify++, plus plus, which is the upgrade below it, which increases the Shadify, Shadify output by one. To demonstrate, let's head over to our artifacts and click Shadify on our, on our enchanted fruit. As we can see here, we get 14 shards per 1,000 fruit right here. So we only use the Shadify on artifacts that you don't really use, like the, uh, like the fruit bag or vortex or wind, if you have an excess amount of them. Heading back to the Malachite shop, we have three upgrades here that will help increase your damage. Sorry, four upgrades here that will help you increase your damage. These upgrades are the focused tools, focused equipment, focused pets, and focused unique leaves. All of the four of these upgrades per level increase the blowing damage by 1% for that tool. So for the focus tools, increases upgraded tools blowing power by 1%. This will help you a lot in increasing the amount of blower damage that you get, which converts into more slap damage. We have another craft hammer upgrade and more card detector and boss card detector upgrades, similar to the ones in the biotite shop. If you still don't have enough damage, you most likely need to go back and farm the tower for equipment or curses from the witch, or get more efficient or higher level uh, sacred leaves for your damage set. But once you have enough uh, damage for the, the centaur, we can head over to the exalted bridge, go into the exalted bridge, and we can beat centaur here. Once we've done that, we're going to unlock the ancient sanctum. This is where we get the next type of leaf, which is sacred leaves, which I'm going to go over uh, go over in the next video, and the stuff that you unlock from beating that centaur. Keep in mind that the centaur does drop shards, meaning that we're able to increase the amount of shards that we do get from killing the bosses, uh, getting up to the point where we can get thousands or ten thousands of shards per kill. That is it for today's video. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. And please make sure that you leave a like and, and subscribe. It would be very appreciated if you do so. I'll catch you in the next one.